Okay, boy. Get him. Telling you, Dutch, this is the way to do this job. The distraction will buy you all the time you need. I don't like it. It's the right Jim. Look, the bank, Karen, Tilly, Abigail, I sent them all. They all say the same thing. There's no more than one armed guard. And the police? It's a city. There are police, but as far as we can tell, the patrols will all be going this way when Abigail and I cause the Diversion, that's the opportunity. What do you think, Arthur? I don't see we have a lot of choice. We linger around here, we know we're dead. But the plan? We got a decent bunch. We know how to fight. The city cops don't seem so tough as long as we move fast. I reckon doing it in the day with a distraction. If that's what Jose is saying. It's as good a plan as any. I, th I think I agree. We do it at night. There's the dram of just getting into the bank. Can't do that silently. No, pick us off far easier. I know. I'm, I'm just making sure. Every plan is a good plan if we execute it properly. Every problem we had was because we did not execute properly. Even Blackwater, from my understanding. You're right. Let's rob this bastard. Everyone, get ready. Look smart. Travel light. You got everything, Arthur? Sure. So, we rob ourselves a bank, and within six weeks, we're living life anew in a tropical idol, spending the last of our days as banana farmers. Let's get out of this godforsaken place and go rob ourselves a bank! <laughs> <laughs> let's go, let's go! Crack that whip, Mr. Matthews! This is it, gentlemen. The last one. Where have we heard that before? What has happened to you, John? You lost all your heart. I'm just trying to stay real about all this. Real? Oh, how I detest that word. So devoid of imagination. How soon are we shipping out? Soon as we get a passage organized. Boat down to Argentina, then another around the Cape. What about the money in Blackwater? We're just gonna leave that behind? Forget that. It's gone. You all talk like it's the only goddamn money in the world. We're gonna take that and more. Take it from the people who take it from us. This isn't some big town hundred dollar operation. This is a big city bank. Right. With security, guards, police. Hosea has done his reconnaissance. We've been over this. The plan. One last time. Hosea and Abigail draw out the police. We go in calm and fast. John and Lenny secure the front doors. Javier takes the side exit. Bill, Micah, and Charles control the crowd. Me and Arthur deal with the bank manager and vault. Got it? Got it. Yep. Gentlemen, let us go ahead. How long do you need? Not long. Fifteen minutes or less. You'll know by the noise. Any problems? We'll see you in camp. Good luck, gentlemen. Right on! Yeah! Everybody know the drill. We head in hard and stay calm. They won't be expecting us. Any minor trouble, head back to camp. We'll leave in a few days. You good, Bill? Sure. 
Then right on with Charles. We don't want to be seen heading in like some posse of country outlaws. This is it, cowboys! One more time! Well, one more time. Let's ride! Yeah! Hitch up here. Gentlemen, robbing thieves, it ain't no crime at all. Folk like this. They stole what this country could have been. Stay cool, fellas. Act natural. Wait for Hosea to do his thing. This, this had better work. Looks like there's law over the other side. Have a modicum of faith, John, will you please? Soon as we get out, load everything onto the wagon here. He is a true artist. this out. Forget all the drawers, just get those safes open. We'll need the combination for these safes. Tell them the combination. Come on, speak. Speak or die. Now. First number. Nineteen. Look 
Come on. Let's go. Okay. Think we got a problem out here? Come out! It's over! Shit! Abigail! Dutch! Get out here! Get out here now! Someone must have squealed! You never should have gone after Bronte, Dutch. Mr. Milton? <clears throat> Let my friend go! Or folks, they are gonna get shot unnecessarily! Your friend? <laughs> Why would I do that? Come on, Milton! It's over! No more bargains, no more deals. Mr. Milton, this is America. You can always cut a deal. I've given you enough chances. Come on!
the others are trying to hold him off. Okay. Well, we better go. We'll be next. What you think? I reckon me and Lenny try and find a way across the roofs. If you'll cover us. Sure. Sure. Go on! Just like your fairy job in Blackwater. Ain't nothing like that. <clears throat> what now? I don't know. I don't. <sighs> this whole town is filled with cops. Well, how long are we gonna stay here? Well, a few hours? We go back to camp, they're gonna get every last one of us. I know they're gonna be watching the roads. I got it. A boat. What you mean? We stay here till nightfall. Then we sneak on down to the docks. We get ourselves out of here. Yeah, where? Any place will do. That's all I got. We leave. We lie low. We come back for the rest in a few weeks. I'm guessing it's that. We die out there right now. Exactly. Now, everybody, calm down. I mean, oh, look at us. Okay, follow me, and keep your heads down.
Head for the dock. Someone's coming. Duck. I don't see why we have to check the train. They just robbed Lemoyne National Bank. It's not like they're gonna take the first line out of town. But old Milton said... Milton said a lot. Come on. Fellas. Arthur, head over to the water. See if you can draw them out. Draw them out? How? I don't know. Make a noise. Whistle or something. for us maybe maybe not well they ain't just waiting there for no reason yeah let me think for a second i'll deal with them what how i can't kill all of them silently so when they chase me you go the other way what are you talking about you heard what i said oh i like it real brave what in the hell who is Excuse me, buddy! Hey, stop! Stop, stop! That is one of the most beautiful acts that. I ever saw. Come on. We got some gold, I'm sure. This boat ain't going to Tahiti by any chance. I don't know. John, Lenny, Jose, 
That wasn't good. I know. So what are we gonna do now? <coughs> Guess I'm gonna introduce myself to the captain. Give him some of this gold to secure his silence. And find out where we're heading. How do I look? Like a shifty, no good killer on the run from the law. Ain't that the truth? <coughs> Excuse me, sir. Hey, who are you? Forgive me. A stowaway. Uh, can I see the captain, please? I come in peace. <sighs> well, it's gonna take a little more gold, but I think we're gonna be okay. This captain, he is a, a fine fella. A New Englander from the Cape. The rest of the ship is Frenchmen. They're heading down to the islands, taking some Pennsylvania coal. Now, apparently, we're gonna be able to slip ashore in northern Cuba in a couple of days. That's so. Apparently. What are we gonna do in Cuba, Dutch? Hold up for a while, then hurry back, gather up the rest of our families. At least we got some money now. Money and loyalty. With that, you can do whatever you please. So you reckon they'll follow us to Cuba? Like Colonel Waxman on a jolly? I highly doubt it. I reckon we hold ourselves to ourselves, and this is done and dusted. Let's hope so. I ain't no sailor, but, uh... <clears throat> that cloud look like good news to you?
It is a miracle! It is a goddamn miracle! Here, have, have something to drink. Have a drink. Somebody Here. give him a goddamn drink! Oh, son. Son, take it easy. Oh, we got you. We got you. So? Where the hell are we? We are on the island of Guam. Javier asked the local. It's a old sugar plantation island. Second island east of Cuba. Is it anywhere near Australia or Tahiti? It's on the way, I guess. So, what next? I don't know. <laughs> Well, next I guess we're gonna get shot. Encadenen a estos hombres! Gentlemen, this is quite a welcome. Who are you? Senor, por favor. We are no one. What's your name? Aiden O'Malley. Is that so? What are you doing, Mr. O'Malley? Surviving. We were lost at sea. In the storm. Is that so? No. I'm in the habit of looking like this. Is all of this really necessary? We got enough troubles around here right now, Mr. O'Malley, without taking a chance on a bunch of vagabonds. Behave yourselves and no harm will befall you. Vamos! 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 That means move! You've got a long walk ahead of you. I don't get your drift, Mr. Uh... Levi Simon, senior overseer for Alberto Fusar. We run the third most productive sugar plantation in the Northern Caribbean. Of course, where there's money to be made, there's trouble. What sort of trouble? Oh, the usual sort. People wanting what ain't theirs and others telling them to take it. I don't get you. Labor troubles and other thieves and pirates looking to disrupt our ways of working. Well, how very upsetting for you. Not half as upsetting as it'll be for them. Mr. Fusar has a lot of very powerful friends. I will bet that he does. Bunch of Haitian pirates won't frighten him. He's strung up in the streets soon enough. And do we seem like Haitian pirates to you, Mr. Simon? You seem like someone or other. We was headed to Tahiti. You was going to see the crowd. Just as soon as I know exactly who you are, you'll be free. In the meantime, you'll not starve. Cabo, llévese a estos hombres a la cárcel, junto con el grupo de cucarachas de ese campesino. Cualquier tontería que hagan, dispárales a todos. Welcome to Guama, gentlemen. Now, if you'll excuse me. Yeah. What now, Aiden? I don't know. What do you think? I think we've got to get out of here. Yeah, but they can't find out who we are. Well, for now, we're stuck, Ben. Well, for what it's worth, I think I would have preferred Tahiti. You and me both. Who are these people? Who knows? Well, they got them chained and lashed, but they don't look too dangerous. Excuse me, sir. Who are our new friends here? <laughs> Criminales. What crime did they commit? Insurrección. <laughs> Insurrection? That's quite a word. Cállate, señor Fuentes. Well, I said. 
todos. Reinforcements. Mon Dieu. We need to get out of here. Now we're in trouble. Come on, come on, David, everyone, follow me. Quick, David. Come, come, come. Ah. 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 Javier! Oh, get out of here. Get out of here. There's a lot of them. Ah. What do you think? We gotta move, Dad. Go. Don't lose pace, son. We'll find you. Cooey, cooey. Go, go. What are you doing here? I have no idea. Running from somebody or something, I guess. How went we on? Hercule Fontaine. Dutch Vanderlyn. These drowned rats are Micah, Bill, and Arthur. Okay. Well, Fusa will be desperate to find you. We must be very careful. So. Who is this Fusar? A tyrant, driven by nothing but power and greed. Our only purpose is to work ourselves to death to make him rich. 
Leon wants the people to stand up to Fusa, but most are too afraid. And you? I am not from here. I bring things in and off the islands behind Colonel Fusa's back. Let's, uh, let's rest a moment. Down there is Aqua Dolce, Fusa's compound. The sugar cane these poor men kill themselves farming gets processed in that factory there. A little more than slaves shipped in from other islands. A group escaped yesterday into the jungle, hoping to find a way back to their homes. Now Fusa's men are out, hunting them down. That old fort? Cinco Torres. My men and I use that as a hideout when we are here. Come on. I know somewhere you men can rest. Can we trust you? I don't see you have any choice. I am the only one who can arrange a boat for you. But I need something in return. Help Leon with that group of escape workers, and then come meet me at the fort. Will you help us get back our friend and get out of here? We will do everything we can. Thank you. Gracias. If your friend is still alive, they will have him at Fusa's compound. There is a cave hidden below the cliffs. It will lead you right there. Thank you. The workers are somewhere in the jungle. Hopefully we can get to them before Fusa does. Of course. Gentlemen. Well, goodbye. If this is a tropical paradise, so far it ain't up to much. I'll go scope the entrance to that cave. Arthur. I need to get some rest. Well, you're right. We all need to relax. <clears throat> what a mess. I am so sorry, boys. Get some sleep, Dutch. Micah, guard this spot. Bill. Do some more scouting, carefully.
¿Quién eres? Pregunté quién eres. Pregunté quién eres. ¿Quién eres? ¿Quién eres? ¿Quién eres? ¿Quién? Ah, tenemos una huevado aquí, ¿eh? Tenemos una huevado. Me voy a despertar, ¿eh? ¿Quién eres? ¿Quién eres? ¿Ah? ¿Ah? Por última vez, ¿eh? ¿Quién eres? Ahora sí, ¿quién eres? ¿Quién eres? ¿Ah? 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 ¿Quién eres? 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 ¿Ah? 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 ¿Quién eres? 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 ¿Ah? 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 My name is Leviticus Cornwall. Tiene este hombre. No lo había visto antes. Me estaba siguiendo en el bosque. Un tipo raro. Time to get to the other workers. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, I think I hear voices coming from the other ruins down there. Let's sneak down and take a look. Which way? I'll show you. Baptiste, you don't look good. You should rest here. Okay. You'll need this. Go! Oh. Go! Oh. Come. Follow me. Stay close. Behind me. I know a way we can sneak around. Okay. Keep quiet and don't kill anyone. If they catch us, they'll murder the workers for sure. Who was that, Phil? Shh. One of her cues men. Quick. Hide. Over there. Esto es una cosa. Mi abuelo siempre dijo que la Guarma era la isla de la que Dios se había olvidado. Y después de estar aquí un mes, entiendo a lo que se refería. No hay nada aquí. Hay que regresar. Tan solo tres meses más y a casa. Por favor. Ok. They moved. Come on. Keep close behind me. Let's go. Stay close. Another one. Hide. Quick. Look out. on the other side of this door. Ratas? Criado por el mismo diablo. Come on, stick tight. ¿Qué tal va todo para allá? Ya casi acabo. ¿Saben? Por mucho que disfruto viendo un socialista colgando. Ahorcar es un trabajo tedioso, ¿ah? ¿eh? Toma demasiado tiempo. Estás enfermo. Toca ver cómo sigan los prisioneros. A ver si el gringo ya abrió la boca. Claro que abrió la boca. Siempre lo hace. Come on, follow me. <laughs> Maldito bastardo! Get them down from there! Shoot the ropes!
from behind us! Thank you, my friend. I'm Baptiste. I work with Hercule. We owe you our lives. Yes, thank you. My pleasure. This place makes me miss home. Take care, my friend. Hercule is getting a boat lined up to get you and your men out of here. Just meet him at Cinco Torres. We'll be there. Good, good. Here, this is for you. Thanks. It's not much, but it's the least we can do. Good luck getting home. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hi. So, uh, what's the plan? Well, I found the cave Herr Cool spoke of, and also a guide. She's up ahead. I think we can trust her. Follow me. The entrance is along here. Just watch your footing. So, uh, what do we do when we get Javier? Well, uh, we're gonna get the hell out of here. And set sail for the one place. Ain't nobody gonna be expecting us. Uh, uh, get everybody together. Uh, and get ourselves back on course. Where would that be? Place we just escaped from. <laughs> you wanna go back to Sandini? If it was you got left, you'd want us to go back. I'd want it, but I wouldn't expect That's it. That's the point. Ain't no one gonna expect it. We come back from the dead, gather everyone, and we leave before anyone realizes we've even resurrected. An insect bite you or something? Cause you gone, friend. We look like what we are. A bunch of desperado on the run. But with the women, a change of clothes, <laughs> we're a choir or a gang of pilgrims or something. Whatever you say. A bunch of penniless fugitives on some Caribbean dump. Sneaking through caves while two of our best men got shot back home. How could I doubt you, Dutch? You got no idea, Arthur. No idea at all. I will do whatever it takes for us to survive. I guess that's what I'm afraid of. Hold on. Why? Gloria! Ay, estás tarde. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Dinero, the money, the gold. Aquí. Dámelo. Oh, it's genuine, you old hag. Oh. Vamos. Vamos. Rápido. Now that gold right there, that's the last bit of gold I have in my pocket from the bank. The rest of it is at the bottom of the sea. Exactly. You know, wasn't Fusar one of the fellas Bronte pointed out to us at the party at San Denis? Yeah. You're right. I knew I'd heard that name before. Yeah. So, I met up with Leon. That situation with the workers is dealt with. Captured, tied up, beaten. Poor bastards. No, that was me. Are you sure this her Q fellers ain't just using us? Almost certainly. But he's the best chance we have right now of getting out of this place. Won't be long before someone figures out who we are and sends word to the U.S. So what happened with John in that bank? He survived. Unlike dear Hosea and Lenny. The only one they took alive. Why is that, you think? I don't know. I was already on the roof. I didn't see it. And Abigail, I presume she was able to slip away in time. What are you talking about? You know... When I look back at all the chaos of the past few weeks, the apparent superficial chaos, I begin to wonder, maybe, for somebody, this is all going exactly to plan. I still ain't sure what you're saying, Dutch. The door is stopped. You'll have to lift it. Pardon me, my queen. <clears throat> Arthur, come help me with this. Just lift it. Okay, then. <clears throat> Almost there. <clears throat> there we go. This way. Sí. 
Then you pay more. Okay. More. Just a second. Pay more. Pay now. What? What are you doing? Oh, Jesus. Easy, Dutch. What was that? Horrible old crone. But you killed her. She was gonna betray us, Arthur. Couldn't you tell? No. Well, I got some Spanish. She was. You keep killing folk, Dutch. I am just trying to make sure that some of us survive, Arthur. Now, shall we proceed? I guess. Listen, <clears throat> son. You think I want any of this? I don't know. Of course I don't. But I made a pledge to you all. We would survive. No matter what. So how did you know she was gonna betray us? What'd she say? It was in her eyes, in the way she was leading us. But you said you knew Spanish. I know human beings. Arthur. <laughs> Are you gonna strangle me next? I'm doing the best I can. You. I come from Mexico. I never met those men. Does anyone believe him? Oh. Mr. Simon doesn't believe you. Even the mule doesn't believe you. Eso ni fue para tanto. Si que deja de actuar. Sabemos que no estuvo tan fuerte. Fue bastante duro. No. La próxima vez será aún más duro. Bueno, ha sido un placer. Siempre me encantaron los mexicanos. ¡Vamos, carajo! 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 ¡Vamos, they won't notice us if we stay quiet. We need to deal with them. Well, I'm sure you got some ideas. Shut up and help me kill them. On my count, you take the one on the right. I'll take the left. So much for the count to three. Okay, let's hide the bodies. You grab that one. Over here. Let's head around the back of the building and see if we can find a way through. Let's go in there. Uh, well, you know me, Arthur will cause ourselves a little distraction and then poof, we will disappear. Take the other side of this door. Me podría costar como mujeres que usan zapatos. Aquí los campesinos son más ignorantes que los animales de sus granjas. Y todo para proteger una puta plantación de azúcar. Y para que Fusar pueda comerse a todas las lugareñas. No a todas. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué lo dices? Al principio no le gustaba. Me decía que era un poco brusco. Pero después se acostumbró. <laughs> ¿Con qué? ¿Una esposa? ¿Qué? Cover. Muy bien. Una esposa de pan. Sí. Es el deber de un soldado. Mi verdadera esposa lo único que hace es enviarme cartas en que me regaña. <laughs> Uh. 
¿Tienes algo de tomar? ¿Cómo sabías? Porque te conozco. Sí, escondí una botella. Voy a buscarla. Gracias. Ok. You take the nearest one on the left. I'll be with his friend. Es una mierda. Es lo más bajo de una civilización. Create a diversion. Well, what do you think? Find another old lady to strangle? That is enough, Arthur. This is a war. Well, if this is a war, then we need to start blowing some stuff uh, up. <laughs> exactly. Is there any dynamite? Oh, no, we don't need dynamite. We got a furnace and lots of sugar. Sugar? Oh, yeah. <laughs> no problem. You'll see. <laughs> Go close the windows and the doors. Go on, quick. <laughs> Create enough dust. This place will go. Okay. We are nearly there. Get this going. We better hurry. Follow me. close to that building when it goes up. Come on, we can hide behind that well. That place has to blow soon. Get ready to make a run for Javier. <laughs> Stay with me! 
You okay there? I'm here. Oh, shit. I think he's passed out, Dutch. Okay, let's move. There'll be more on the way. Come on. Come on, you goddamn animals. I need not get Take care of these fools a bit. No problem. Go quick. what you ask. It's like I said, Fusar knows who you are and knows the price on your head. It's a big problem. Uh, I see. But if we can silence him, then I can help you escape before anyone has time to get here from America. That way, we all get what we want. We want to get the boat you promised us. And you will, 
but you have found yourself in the middle of a war, my friend. Fuso has called in the Navy from Cuba. There's no way a boat could live right now. Hercule! Hercule, s'il vous plaît! Vite! Vite! Come. Follow me. So now we have a real problem. This must be the boat he called in from Cuba. That's a goddamn warship. You kind of have to hand it to this fella. So I guess great minds think alike. So what now? We fight or we win. Any of you boys feel like running? So what do we do? I will go get the cannon ready. Okay, let's get to it. <laughs> Man. Shoot them! Numbers on the beach! I see. There's more coming down the right side of the beach! Let's be prepared when it comes in hot. Why the hell are we doing this? This is. forward because if we don't we're gonna die here and now okay then follow me this is kind of fun Thank you. 
They are both coming from both sides. Damn it! What do we do now? I think I got a plan. You cover the right. Okay. And you take the left, Hercule. Okay. Good luck. and use the cannon. You go, Arthur. I'll gladly hold them off this beach a while longer. You sure? Just certain, son. Bye -bye, you think that cannon will be enough? Only one way to find out. Christ's sake, how many men is Rusar got? That's the problem. It doesn't matter how many we kill. He will have the money to get more. Watch out! Damn! You will have to climb up around the side. This way. That one's going to fight for Dutch. Cross our corner. I got him. Let's go. We need to put a serious hole in that boat. From here. Come on. That was quite some shooting, boys. Thank you. What now? Oh, they'll be back. But I found a boat for you. And he should be arriving on the dock any time now. Great. Micah, go meet with the captain. If he's amenable and discreet, tell him we'll be ready to set sail soon. Bill, come help me collect poor old Javier. Sure. And cool. It was a great pleasure to make your acquaintance. Uh, 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 uh,
I thought I was dead for sure. Ah, boys, we got a real problem. Nice Mr. Fusar don't want us going nowhere. He knows just who we are. If he can keep us here for a few more days, well... And what about the captain of the ship here? They got him trussed up like a hog. Guards all over the place. Got us surrounded with gun positions, so when we try to sail out, he's gonna blow holes in us. This fella is really beginning to try my patience. He ain't even had you tortured yet. <laughs> I like the man's style. He's thorough, nasty, and vindictive. However... In this instance, I don't see we got any alternative, but we go and free our friendly captain and destroy the artillery. For once, I agree with you. Hey, cool. Oh, I'll fight Alberto Fusa every day I can. All right. Bill, you're gonna guard Javier on the ship here. Micah, Arthur, let's get to work. Hey, cool. we follow you. Hanale, this way. Let's get up around the back of that artillery post. There's two guards. Arthur, come on. Get your knife ready. You take out the first guy, and I'll get the other one, okay? Explosives. You got it secured properly, cowpoke? I think so. Knowing you, I have my doubts. Shut up, my kid. <laughs> Come on, run!
Above us! On the move! Come on! There's another set of cannons up ahead! I got you now, you bastard. We are all bastards, my friend. But only one of us is some would-be emperor's whore. We know who you are. And nobody knows who you are. Not even your goddamn father. You maggots are going to die. Eventually, I'm sure we will. But not today, and not because of you. 
The U.S. Navy is on the way. I am sure they are. Which is why you're going to let us leave. Here! <laughs> You saved my life. Thank you, Captain. I suppose you men are my cargo. Dutch Vanderlyn, I am sorry you got hurt. Uh, Captain Sam... Let's go. Gentlemen! Oh. Back to the ship! Come on! What happened to Fushar? He escaped? I didn't see him! Damn it! They have sent the enforcements! Up there, in the tower? Yes. Yes, that's him. This goddamn idiot. Come on! He's shooting. We have to take him down. Out there. There's another cannon up ahead on our left. Can you get to that? I'll try. Hey, out there. We don't have a shot on him. For you, Javier. Captain, can you handle the ship? I'll be fine. Come on. We'll get going with the tide before I get any more surprise interviews with local officials. Are you gonna be okay? We'll be like you. We'll disappear probably. Back to IT. Believe me. We'll be long gone by morning. Good. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> We survived. Just about. What now? B what now? What do you mean, what now? I mean, we're headed back to Lemoyne again, and we're all wanted men. <laughs> we slip ashore one by one, find out what's what. And we don't cut and run now? Head back to Blackwater. No. Why not? Because the last thing they'll be thinking is for us to turn up. We've been on the run for a while now, and it feels like... like our luck has turned. You know? It ain't turning back. We had a good run of it, I guess. We ain't even played our hand yet. We just need to put some more money in our pocket. Make our escape. Broke? Alone? They're gonna pick us off one by one. And you know it. Maybe. Not. Maybe. We need to split up. 
Keep a low profile. Try to track down the rest. But carefully. See if they send any mail. Arthur, you check Shady Bell. We'll find each other eventually. We always do. And then what? Then we meet up. We gather the family, we get some money, and get the hell out of there. That's the plan. We all acting crazy. And that's not what I thought we were going to be doing here. We have here. been in a bad way. Listen. I will kill for my family. Any of you want to judge me for that? That's fine. But that is who I am. Anyone disagree? Anyone? Hello? Hello? Anyone here? <whistles> Susan! Strauss, you here? Hello? Sadie? Harrison?
Melton keeps sending us back every day to search this place. There quite clearly isn't a gang of outlaws. Huh? Look, those are fresh footprints. Looks like someone might be here right now. Sure, someone is here. There's always someone everywhere. Well, let's look around, then. See if we can find something for Mr. Milton. Mr. Milton? I'd like to find a poisonous snake for him. That's enough, Mr. Johns. You take Mr. Bunter and search around back. Mr. Orley, let's head inside. Gentlemen, be careful. Uncle Tacitus, I do so hope you enjoyed your vacation. Lucky you, leaving like that. And you always suggested you were too old for travel. I hope you and your cousins enjoyed yourselves. Me and your grandnieces have decided to take a trip of our own, as the place has become so dreary and godforsaken in your absence. We have gone to visit relatives. From my daddy's side, you are not yet acquainted with them, in Lacay, a small village just north of Saint Denis. It's buggy and muggy, but apparently neither is too bad at this time of year. Please come see us when you can. Yours sincerely, Caroline. Well, thank you, darling niece Caroline. I guess I'm coming to see you in Lacay. I 
Arthur! Arthur's here! Oh, Arthur! Oh, your laugh! Just about. Come inside. Come on, look it's raining. You. Hey, everybody, look who's here. How y'all doing? Hey, old man, wake up. Hey, Arthur, they got John. Good to see you. Yeah, he got arrested. He ain't hung yet? Not yet. They moved him to Sisica. He's been working on a chain gang. <sighs> Howdy. Okay, okay. Hey! <laughs> How'd you folks find each other? What happened? Can can somebody give me a cup of coffee or something? Yeah. <laughs> Mrs. Adler, who saved us, Dutch? After the robbery in Saint Denis, she got us away from the camp before the Pinkertons turned up. Then Mrs. Adler and Mr. Smith drove away the degenerates of her living here. Mrs. Adler, we. Oh, you. Yes. 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 <laughs> Thank you. It's been real hard, Dutch. We, we've been surviving, but only just. What we gonna do? Things have been tough. There ain't no doubt about that. Trust me. I am gonna get us out of here. This ain't over. Ain't none of you folks interested in our adventures? Mm. Guess we're more <laughs> interested in escaping the hangmen on our tail? Cheerful nymph of the prairie, wasn't you, Abigail? Oh, sure. My fair heart jumps for joy when I set eyes on you, Micah. <laughs> we buried Hosea Dutch. Charles and I stole his body from the law one night and gave him a proper burial. It was real nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, here you is. Well, I asked everyone I could find, and eventually someone new said you fools were out here. Shit. Give me a drink or something. Get your own damn drink. In our absence, Mrs. Adler here has been looking after things. Now sit down. This is Agent Milton with the Pinkerton Detective Agency. Already? On behalf oh, of Cornwall, Kerosene, and Tar, the United States government, and the Commonwealth of West Elizabeth. Here we go. We are here to arrest you. Come out with your hands up. Give them to a count of five, then give them everything. Actually, let them have it. Everyone get down! Uh, ask everyone you can find. I can you. This is real bad. Stay down, Ollie.
get this, Arthur? Oh, me and Bill and Sadie. <coughs> you okay, son? Sure. We ain't been back for more than a few days. What, what do we do, Dutch? Clearly, we need to leave. It'll take them some time to regroup. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw, start packing up. Javier, you and Bill, get out of here. Go scare off any scum still loitering about. We need a couple of days. Now, please, gentlemen. Sorry. What next, Dutch? We just need some time. I just, I, I need some time. Now, we can't go east, because then we'll be in the ocean. So we're going to have to go north, I guess. I just need somebody to buy me some goddamn time, one of you. You'll figure it out, boss. You always do. What are you going to do about John, Dutch? John? He's in jail. Well, we'll get him. Abigail, just not, not yet. There's talk of hanging him. It's not gonna come to that. Dutch! Not now, Miss, I, not now. I'm begging you to. They're gonna hang me, break my, the boy's heart. Please, do something. We will. Okay, I'm gonna go figure out how we rescue this bastard. No. Yes, now. Give me a Doyle's Tavern, a million revenue. Okay. My lord, what a goddamn mess. Everything. Not sure what happens next. Whole thing's been hard on all of us. Most of all on Dutch, who seems half-crazed by all we've gone through. 